Welcome to a packed episode of Bulldog Builds. The students have been busy working on everything from the Cadillac project to the pedal car up to the SEMA Jeep build project and we'll even talk a little bit about this engine I'm standing next to. So welcome, we know you're going to enjoy this episode. Last time we narrowed the valve guides. Now we're cutting the valve faces. We added fiberglass to the inside of the nose to help support the body filler. We coated it with resin, applied it to the nose, and pushed out the air. A liberal amount of filler was applied. The rest of the body was stuffed with 220 grit in preparation of the primer while the filler dried. We welded the fenders to the supports on the car. We block sanded the body, then primed it. We painted our wheels white. We wet sanded the primer. We applied our blue base coat. Then we wrapped our foam covered roll bar. White accent stripes were masked off. Beautiful. Now I'm going to ask you that question, and then you're going to look at me, not the camera, and you're going to say that. Okay? Mm -hmm. So do what you're doing. All right. What are you doing? Uh, checking all the hardware and assembling the metal car. Can 
What you're about to see could be disturbing for some of you, but we feel what's been done is a necessary evil for our SEMA Jeep build. Given the short timeline to complete this project, many of you may think us insane, but that's what we do here. As our Snap-on rep Pete Lemieux often says, it's a Hilton thing. For any SEMA people watching this, trust us and enjoy the ride. Drain the trans fluid by removing the pan, reinstalling it, then remove the trans and transfer case from the frame. Then it was time to pull the engine. The fuel lines were removed. Then the brake lines along with the master cylinder. All carry it together. The drag link was removed from the pitman arm in order to remove the steering box and pump from the frame. Then, the front and rear sway bars were removed. With pretty much everything out of our way, it was time for a second pressure washer.
Is it the protectors lined up? Yes. There you go. Come on, guys, let's go. 